Hi, in this video I'm looking at expressing these recurring decimals as rational numbers in their simplest form. So the definition of a rational number is the ratio of two integers, a and b. So by ratio we mean as a fraction, as long as b is not zero. So we are trying to write these recurring decimals as a fraction and the simplest fraction. So let's start off with question a, which has 0.4 recurring. Now 0.4 recurring means that 0 0.4444 dot 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 all the way through to an infinite number of fours. So it never ends. What we want to do is try and represent this as a fraction of two integers. Now to do this we need to try and convert or do some mathematics to get integers. So what we're going to try and do is try and get rid of decimal places. Now to do that, we're going to use some, a bit of multiplication and subtraction. Because if we subtract a number which has the same decimal places, something 0.4444 recurring, then all of those decimal places will cancel out. So what we're going to do is we're going to call our recurring number x. Then what we're going to do is we're going to try and get another number which is which has exactly the same recurring pattern in it. So we're going to multiply x by some power of 10. And the power of 10 is enough that we get some other number and that we have exactly lining up copying recurring. So I'm going to try with 10. So I'm going to multiply x by 10, which means I'm going to multiply this by 10. So if I multiply 0 0.4 recurring by 10, I'm going to have 4.4 .4 recurring. So now I have x equals 0 0.4 recurring and 10x equals 4.4 .4 recurring. And what I can do is I can call these two two different equations because I've got x now and I've got this equation for x and I've got this equation for x. So I now have two simultaneous equations and I can solve them for x. I can do that by doing our subtraction as I said. I can do 2 subtract 1. So if I subtract the two left hand sides, 2 subtract 1 means I'm going to have 10x minus x equals subtract the two right hand sides. So 4.444 onwards subtract 0 0.444 onwards. So now if we look at this equation here, I can do 10x minus x, and that will give me 9x. And I can do 4.4 recurring minus 0.4 recurring. So because all the decimals are the same, they line up, all of those decimals cancel out with the subtraction. And really, I just have to try and perform 4 minus 0, because the, all the decimal places cancel out, which just leaves me with 4. And now I have a simple equation, 9x equals 4. So to work out what x is, I just take my 4 and I divide it by the 9. So I have my fraction now that x equals 4 over 9. Double check that's in the simplest form. We cannot simplify that fraction anymore. So our decimal 0 0.4 recurring is 4 over 9. Okay, so now if we look at part B, part B states, well, is the number 0 0.21 recurring. So this is 0 0.212121, same pattern occurring forever. So if we do the same with this one, we make this equal to x. So now I want to try and get another number that has the same decimal recurring pattern in it. So if I did the same as before what I had 10x, that would give me 2.12121. So the decimals don't line up now. So I can't multiply by 10x. I've got to try a larger power of 10. So let's try 100x. That'll give me 21, 
point two one two one two one recurring. So now we do have matching decimals. So 100x is the power of 10 for this one. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I have equation 1 and I have equation 2, and I'm going to perform 2 subtract 1 to cancel out those decimals and give me two integers. So if I have a look at this now, we have 100x subtract x. So looking at the left hand sides, 2 minus 1, 100x minus x. Having a look at the right hand side, we've got 2, which was 21.212121 recurring, minus my equation 1, which was 0 0.212121 recurring. So now if we have a look, 100x minus x, well that's 99x, 21 0.212121 recurring minus 0 0.21 recurring. Well, again, those decimals cancel out with the subtraction. I just look at the whole numbers in this case. 21 minus 0, we're just left with 21. Simple equation now. We just want to have a look at x is equal to 21 over 99. Divide both sides by 99. Is this in the simplest form? Not yet. We can divide both of those numbers, top and bottom, by 3. So that would give me 7 over 33 as my simple fraction. So 0 0.21 recurring is 7 over 33. And if we finally have a look at part C, part C is 1.3285 where the 285 recurs. So let's have a look at part C. Part C, our number was 1.3285, so just the 285 is recurring. Let's have a look at this. So if we make x equal to 1.3285, 5 and so on, we want to find a number that has matching decimals, well, a matching recurring decimal pattern. So let's go through the process. Let's have a look at 10x. 10x would give me 13.285285, so on, but that has the 3 lining up with the 2, the 2 lining up with the 8, the 8 lining up with the 5, so that doesn't work. So we need to try a bigger power of 10. So let's try 100x. That will give me 132.852852852. So that gives me 3 and 8, 2 and 5, 8 and 2, this. so that doesn't work. I've got to try another number, another power of 10. So let's try 1000x. So that gives me 1328.5285285 dot dot dot. So now I have the 3 lining up with the 5, but I have 2, eight, two with 2, 8 with 8, 5 with 5. So now my recurring, recurring pattern is lining up. I have my recurring pattern here, which was a digit, 285, a digit, 285, and that recurs. So I have found my power of 10. So I want the 1,000. Labeling these two equations, I have equation 1 and equation 2. I do 2 subtract 1. So that's going to give me 1,000x. If I look at the left-hand side, subtract x equaling, looking at the right hand side, 1328.5285285285 recurring, minus 1.3285285 recurring. 1000x minus x, that just leaves me 999x. Now, if I have a look at this, because I had those decimals lining up, 
this part of my decimal is going to cancel out. So the 285 recurring part cancels out. And I'm left with 1328.5 minus 1.3. So that's going to give me a decimal of 1327.2 if I do that subtraction. Now the problem with this is we need an integer. This is a decimal, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. And that'll turn this into a integer. So I'm now going to have 9,990 uh, 9, x. It's 999 times 10 is 9,990 x. And 1, 13,272. So now I have my two integers. I can now write my ratio by dividing both sides by 9,990. Make sure, are we a simple fraction? We are not, because we can divide both of these numbers by 6, and that will give us 2,212 over 1,665. So my decimal, 1.3, with the 285 recurring, is equal to 2,212 over 1665.